Hello and welcome back to my channel. So first, I'm gonna apologize for not posting any videos in two weeks. I have a vacation in last week, so I don't have time to do another tutorial for you. Okay, in this video, I'll show you how to batch rendering. As we all know, Blender doesn't support batch rendering. And uh, after some experiment, I find a best way to do batch rendering using the keyframes. The idea of this method is using keyframe to uh, to bind the camera, and then we will we'll render the animation. It will render on the camera views. So first, this is the scenes called Tea Time that I have on my Gumroad, you can check on it, I'll leave a link below. And uh, in this scene, I have three cameras. This one is the view one here, this one is the view two, and this one is the view three. So first, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the view one and go to the frame number one. Let me scale this one down here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to marker and add marker. The hotkey is M. And now I have the F1 here, which uh, is the marker number one. Then I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to marker and bind camera to markers. Control B. And then in the first view, if I go to the uh, camera view I can see the first view already already attacked to the first frame next I'm gonna choose the uh, second view then I'll go to the second frame here do the same add marker and bind camera to marker then as you can see now the camera here is now switching to camera 2 and in frame number three, I'm gonna choose the camera three here. Hit M and Control B. Sorry, bind camera to marker. And then from the start and end here, I'm gonna choose one, two, three. And when you switch switch over the um, keyframe, and you can see all the views are already attached to the keyframe. And when we go to render and hit render animation, it will render all the frames, which is three now. And each frame will bind with a camera and then we will have all the views. This is really handy when you use batch rendering. You only have to hit render one time and then you can go to bed and have a rest or just go outside, hang out or doing something else and when you come back uh, when you wake up the all the views is already rendered and you just collect the uh, final image and before I hit render I'll go to the uh, the scenes tab so the image tab and then I'll choose an output I choose the file format and then just hit render but remember to render animation, which is Control F12. That's what I'm not gonna do because when you render it, it will it will render the final image and not include on the passes that you have set up here. One way to do that is using the uh, Open ESR file to have all the passes in one file. But it's quite not my case not what I'm usually doing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the compositing tab, make sure you uh, check the use node here. And then in the render layers, you have all the layers on the passes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new output node. Here, you have the base part is where you save the file. I'm gonna choose final render and accept. In the file output, go to the item 
tab here and go to properties you can have the file format I usually use TIFF file to have more data to in pro post processing and choose the color depth to 16 then you have the on the output here first is the image I would call it final final image and connect the image here which is I already set up an uh, denoiser here so this image is the final image that have the denoiser so I'm gonna add another output for the mist pass and another input for the shadow and for the rest And I also have the noisy image here to have the to have the raw image that doesn't have uh, doesn't have the denoising. You are ready to go. Just hit render animation. But first, let me uh, render uh, an image first. Okay, now my image is complete rendering. So I'm gonna check real quick with my image folder here then you see I have all the image all the passes so I have the final image I have the shadow the ambient occlusion the glossiness and uh, the noisy image what I'm gonna show you is uh, we can also have another another output for post, post process you can use all the patches here to uh, post processing in the uh, post processing software just like uh, Photoshop or Affinity as I'm having here or you can do it right into Blender I'm just gonna do some color and mix RGB with the AO here I'm gonna mix it with soft light and see how it goes here I'm gonna choose uh, reduce the effect to 0 0.3 I'm gonna duplicate this one and choose string and add the what is it? the glossy glossy value as you can see when I hit M to mute this note you can see the uh, different no and I can increase it a little bit and you can see the difference here okay. and I'm gonna duplicate this one and uh, choose gloss indirect I will reduce to 0.3 And then from this one I will put into the processing and when you render it will have another image called post processing yeah and then you have more data to work on okay then when you best rendering just hit render and render animation and thus how you batch rendering in blender and I hope this help you in a future project that you can only hit render one time and you can have some rest after a hard work so I hope you find this video helpful and uh, I promise I will be back in another video next week like and subscribe if you find this video as helpful and to support this channel to see more videos in the future thank you and bye-bye